going to introduce you to our GMPO 25, which is used for dispensing polyurea for joint filling. First thing we'd like to speak about is our tanks. They are six gallon stainless steel. The lid is gasketed on the inside and tied to a desiccant dryer, which can be replaced. There's a window on the side um, indicating if the dryer has been used. Blue is good. Pink means that it needs to be replaced. This is our internal gear tooth gear pump that we manufacture here. It's a Geroder pump. The advantage of this pump, besides its precision, is that it has a lubrication chamber. So at the end of the day, to exchange the lubricant, open up the bleed port on the bottom, pump three squirts of Vaseline through the pump, that'll exchange the lubricants. Okay, so how this is a fixed gear system, so how we change the ratio is by the number of teeth on the outside of the gear. So a 16 tooth and a 16 tooth would obviously be a one to one. 32 tooth and a 16 tooth would make it a two to one ratio. On the outlets of the pumps are liquid filled gauges. These are indicating the back pressure of what the flow of material is. On the outlets of the pumps are two stainless steel braided Teflon line hoses that are 15 feet long. These connect to the extension wand, which is telescoping in length. So this slides in and out. It also comes with a wheel guide. There's a manifold block on the end where the static mixer attaches to. Please note that there's also two grease zerk fittings there. So at the end of the day, what you're going to do is pump grease into there, and then that's going to exchange the lubricants in the end of the, the nozzle, and that'll create a vapor barrier. We also have two shutoff valves there as well. This is our speed controller. It's a rheostat on a scale of 1 to 100. Uh, please note that it is uh, weather resistant. Included with every O25 is a 1200 watt inverter to allow you to run off a deep cycle marine battery. This machine has about a seven amp draw, so you should be able to get about six hours out of a battery charge. The tray on the back here is for where the battery is placed.